Taiwan. Where do I even begin? This whole trip started completely spontaneously. I entered a contest on Facebook with the Taiwan Tourism Board of North America, never expecting to win. But months later, I got a message. I had won. I was going to Taiwan. I messaged my friend Chiaki, who I know loves to travel just as much as I do. We were so excited. But within the blink of an eye, we were on the plane on the way to Taiwan a place I knew so little about, but was so hungry to learn more about. The trip was like magic. Chiaki and I fell in love with Taiwan. We had this incredible gift of being flown out there and we did not take it for granted. This is what we got up to in Taipei, Taiwan. to the Taipei 101, which at one point was the tallest building in the world. Now I think it's the fifth, uh, but we're walking and the street doesn't really have sidewalks, so we're trying not to get run over, but it is so colorful and beautiful and lush here. It's a very exciting city. We've only, we only got here this morning. We've already seen so much. I love it. <laughs> it took us literally like four hours to get to our hotel. <laughs> We got a little lost, but that's part of the journey. Well, no, no, no. That's part. We did not get lost. We got on the right bus, it just went in the wrong direction. <laughs> There's the very tippy top of the Taipei 101. And as you can see, it's a very busy, beautiful, colorful city here in Taipei. Two things I've learned thus far, people from Taiwan love motorbikes and they love their food. It seems like every other store is a restaurant, which we're into because we're here to eat. We're here. MTV, welcome to my <laughs> So it seems like it's a mall at the bottom, a very, very, very nice mall. We're looking for Din Tai Fung because we're gonna have some delicious dim sum for lunch. So that's the search right now. Oh my God, this is the line for Din Tai Fung. Ooh. This is the vibes of the wait, but we've decided we're gonna wait. We're looking at the menu. We're gonna do this. We're doing it. Might as well, we came all the way to Taiwan. Right, we're dim Tai funging. after our 30 minute wait and our first dish that we've got on the menu is bamboo shoots. Very good. Oh, that's the money. Oh <laughs> Chucky got pork soup dumplings. They look amazing. And the next course we have a taro shaolong bao. Because I wanted to try a vegetarian version of the shaolong bao, so let's try it. Oh, it's so swishy. Wow. Going to try the taro one. Mm. Custardy, almost like a mashed potato-y texture, but then taro, which is sweet and delish. And on top of that, I got a mushroom dumpling. It looks really, really good too. A mushroom vegetarian. We got the money shot. Yes, the money shot. <laughs> so good. And then we got red bean buns. That Can look I like, stay it on camera? But they look like boots? Yeah. <laughs> They definitely look like boobs, but they are going to be delicious. Wow, look at that red bean. Oh, don't burn yourself. And I ordered one more round of the dumplings and we are stuck. But we're having a spiritual experience and I'm going to go. I'll end you with this image of Chiaki and her giant shuttlecock. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> We just checked into our hotel, The Art Tree, and the entire hotel is forest themed. It is the most gorgeous hotel I've ever seen. First of all, you walk down the hallway, we're on the sixth floor, it's got little statues of bugs, and it's all tree and forest themed. And you walk down the hall, this gorgeous dimly lit hall, and here's our little room. Oh, I'm locked up. <laughs> Chiaki, thank you. <laughs> but look at this freaking room. 
beauty. Oh my god, okay, so look at, the beauty. look at the beauty. First off, upon entering, you'll find the lounge area with table and a chiaki and fruit and this nightstand and look at this couch. Wow. And a lamp. This lamp is knit and lit. Did I mention this couch is supremely comfortable? <laughs> Gorgeous king size bed and a twin. Wow. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. I was getting some work done at my desk right in front of the television. I mean, look at this bathtub. It's huge and it's got a view. Oh, sh look at that view. We out here. We've got gorgeous marble countertops, lovely sinks, and we can turn the light on. Touch the mirror. The technology, it's insane. We got a great shower. I mean, look at this shower head. And they come with shampoo. And a toilet. Look, it's fancy. It's got special buttons and everything. Even the toilet has a freaking view. And we get this full closet. And it comes with three robes. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> Even the elevators are all decked out in the forest theme. This is the beautiful forest theme lobby. <laughs> the light up front desk that's a tree. There's all foresty gorgeousness. And even a woody little sitting area with a tree. I'm getting a free coffee, man. Okay, let's see this. Wow. wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. We are at Xingmending shopping area in Taipei and look, it looks like Shibuya crossing. There's this giant crossing and lots of shops. What? Party World! <laughs> Our favorite. We had so much fun at Party World, it's karaoke. This is such a cool area for bars, restaurants, shopping. It's like popping off. It's a Saturday night. I bought a cute shirt with dumplings on it. I'm a sucker for a cute shirt. Stinky tofu is a specialty in Taiwan. If you're here, you should try it. This is so big. We just keep walking and there's more. There are more shops, more cute things. More stinky tofu. So much. I'm like overwhelmed and very excited. It's so big. Just street after street. To demonstrate how many 7-Elevens are here, there's a 7-Eleven right there. And then across the street, there's a 7-Eleven there. There she is. Oh, yes. Yes. I was having trouble finding vegan food, so we're here in a conveyor belt sushi restaurant and I got a cucumber roll. Thank the Lord for this cucumber roll. I also got this gorgeous Inari cucumber roll. Oh my god, yes. And just like that, we're doing karaoke again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're leaving karaoke now. I literally don't have a voice. But if you're looking for karaoke in Taipei and you want English songs, come. To EST, they have tons of English songs. Oh my gosh, I have no voice. But it was so much fun. <laughs> the next hotel we stayed in was the Hay Bear Capsule Hotel. If you watch my Japan videos, you'll know I love a capsule hotel. Not only are they super affordable, usually less than 20 US dollars, they're also super, super fun. They're such a unique sleeping experience. This time Chiaki and I were on a co-ed floor and we were actually in a co-ed room with individual capsules that lock, which was unique. And we had our own separate ladies room that you had to use your key card to get into. But the capsule itself was super futuristic. It had these cool blue lights. It gave you a cozy blanket. It gave you a cozy pillow. There was actual functioning AC that was amazing. And a big TV. The capsule definitely felt spacious enough. It was comfy. I got some good rest there. Overall, super fantastic experience. 
Good morning for our final big hurrah in Taipei. We are unfortunately leaving today. We are going to be hiking Elephant Mountain, which is this gorgeous mountain range, this hilly area right above the city, so you get a view of the entire skyline. And it's supposed to be like a 15 to 20 minute hike up some steps. It's going to be semi-challenging according to my research. <laughs> so I'm like in full workout gear. We'll see if that's actually necessary. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. The really thin steps weirdly makes it more tiring. Oh, I'm excited though. Gotta get that view. Well, it definitely isn't an easy hike. But there are children and older people hiking. But woo, I'm sweating. I recommend you do wear gym clothes and sneakers and bug spray. Wow, it's beautiful. You can see everything. The view from Elephant Mountain was spectacular. There were tourists up there and it was a little crowded, but if you find your own space, it's a really magical experience. It was by far the best way to see Taipei and say goodbye to such a beautiful city. But that wasn't it for our Taiwan experience. We also went to Jufen and we also went to Kaohsiung. So be sure to subscribe. I have a couple of Taiwan videos coming out soon. One step is all it takes to get us